Okay, so I keep promising you guys that I'm going to show you how I do my zigzag stitching <clears throat> on my um, domestic. Here's what it looks like. I've done half of this pillow already. So if you can see it up close, it just ends up looking like hand stitching or a utility stitch, and it's so simple. So what I do first is I change my foot to something that has a fairly large opening. On my old Bernina, that's a zero. Um, the one would also work. So I remove my seam, my quarter inch seam allowance foot, and I put in this one. And then the next thing I do is I choose my zigzag stitch, which I know you probably can't really see very well on here. Um, and I change the length at the width. So for the length, I choose number above the five, the furthest that it'll go. And on the width, I go somewhere around three and a quarter to three and a half. And when I put it on there, I always test it on a piece of fabric so that I can see what the zigzag is going to look like. So let me see on this one. Let me just test it out. It could go a tiny bit lower than that on the width. Okay. And I like that. And let me show that to you guys. So basically that's what it is. It's that wide. It, you could even go less wide if you want it to be a little bit closer to a straight line. And then all I do is I find the middle mark, the middle point of my project. I just like to start in the center and go to one end and then to the other end. And I've already done this one, um, this side, but I'm basically going to start and I use my previous line, my previous zigzag as where I'm going to line it up. And so that ends up with them being about a, a little bit less than a half an inch apart. I don't use tape or anything. It's really a very organic process. Of course, my needle just, my thread just came out. And so I'm going to thread it while you guys wait for me. And of course, because I'm on camera, it's not going to work. Um, my scissors aren't even here right now because I cleaned off my desktop so that I could do this. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to start off. I'm going to push needle down and I'm basically going to stitch that large zigzag stitch lining up my foot with my previous zigzag stitch and I can go pretty fast. Um, this whole pillow top will probably take me about 20 minutes, maybe less. When I get to the end, I will put my feed dogs up or my foot up and I'll go over a few outside the pillow so that I'm not doing that little part on the outside. I just do it on the piece of fleece that I have. So I've basically pressed this to a piece of fusible fleece. You could use a, a piece of batting also, then you would have to either glue baste it or pin baste it. But I use the fusible fleece for these pillow tops. Um, I love them. And they're so simple, you literally just press it to there with your iron. And then once I've moved it over, and then now I use this side of my foot to line up with the outer edge of the stitch in front of it. And I always use some kind of a line on the design also as my guide. So in this case, I have a line right there that I'm lining this up on. When I get to the end, I again stitch over a few on the outside part that's not the pillow. And then I do the next one. And literally, that is the entire process. I'll just go all the way down one more line to show you guys how easy this is. Probably take me another five minutes to finish that. And if you can see, let me just take it out. So basically, then I just trim up the whole pillow edge. But so this is what the stitching looks like. It ends up looking like... Um, a little bit like old fashioned hand stitching. So hopefully you guys will try this at home on any of your smaller projects. It's really fun.